yesterday, GitHub Copilot X was announced. In this video, let's take a first look at the terminal interface, which is the GitHub Copilot CLI. With natural language processing and contextual awareness, GitHub Copilot CLI can translate your requests into shell commands, git commands, or GitHub CLI commands. Let's head to the terminal and try out these three different modes. The first mode is question mark followed by question mark. This allows you to translate natural language to arbitrary shell commands. For example, you could write double question marks followed by delete all files with the extension dot log in the logs folder. Press enter and GitHub Copilot CLI will suggest the command. Find logs hyphen name star dot log dash delete. Copilot CLI will also explain piece by piece what the suggested command does. Find is used to list files. Logs is the folder we search in. Name option stipulates that we search for files ending in dot log and dash delete deletes all files found by find. This, if you ask me, is really important when you're learning new commands or flags. You can go ahead and run the command if you're happy with it. The second mode is git question mark. This mode allows you to translate natural language to git commands. For example, you could write git question mark, change to a new branch, and we specify the branch name as feature react server components. I'm also going to add the condition with current changes. Press enter and Copilot CLI will suggest the command git switch dash C feed slash react server components. Again, we have a very elaborate explanation of what the command does. Run this command and we have now switched to a new branch. The third mode is gh question mark, which allows you to translate natural language to GitHub CLI commands. For example, you could write GitHub question mark, list all pull requests, builder io slash quick. And Copilot will suggest the command ghpr list dash r builder io slash quick. Run the command and we see the list of PRs. All the three modes of GitHub Copilot CLI work in the same way. You write a natural language query to declare what you want, and GitHub Copilot CLI will try to construct a command or sequence of commands to do it. If you're happy with the suggested command, just ask Copilot CLI to run it for you. Now, if the suggested command is not what you wanted, you can revise your query and ask Copilot CLI to generate a new command. For example, running double question mark collect test coverage reports for .tsx files in the source folder will output the command just dash dash coverage with the collect coverage option for .tsx files in the source folder. Now we can select revise query and input use vtest instead of jest. This will generate the command as per your requirement. Having GitHub Copilot CLI is like having a shell wizard by your side to help you remember commands and flags. It simplifies working in the terminal, and I highly recommend you give this a try. Please refer to the link in the comment section to understand how to get access and set up Copilot CLI on your machine.